Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Eclipse EA-700 starts flight test with POC wing. Seaplane Adventures wins fight against NIMBY homeowners. And Lily Drone is back under new ownership. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's September 5th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The EA-700 Eclipse Upgrade program is speeding right along. One Aviation has confirmed the successful first flight of their aerodynamic proof of concept EA-700 wing. Experimental test aircraft November 9 or 9 or 0 November Echo was modified to test the new wing shape being used for the A700 model currently in development. This aircraft still sports the E500 fuselage engines and stabilizers, but has had the wing modified to match the shape of the EA700 wing. Changes to the wing include the overall 4 foot increase in wingspan and reshaping of the inboard wing airfoils and platform. This is a key milestone in the path to making a very good airplane, a great airplane, said Alan Klapmeyer. The One Aviation team has worked hard to achieve this key milestone for the EA-700 proof of concept wing. Today's flight lasted approximately one and a half hours. Handling qualities were evaluated during transitions between all configurations. Maneuvering and basic aircraft flying qualities were evaluated at altitudes up to 15,000 feet. The plane performed flawlessly, and all test condition results were as expected. The aircraft felt very solid, said Jerry Chambers, chief test pilot and PIC for the flight, a testament to the efforts of the engineering and build teams. At a four-hour hearing last Monday of the Marin County, California Planning Commission, the panel not only did not oppose tighter restrictions on seaplane operations in Richardson Bay, but vacated three existing restrictions. Some 250 people attended the meeting, and the majority spoke in favor of Seaplane Adventures, a sightseeing and flight training business operating out of the seaplane base on Richardson Bay. The business had been the target of complaints from homeowners that have grown up around the bay ever since the business was established in 1953. The homeowner said that Seaplane Adventures was in violation of its operating permit because it had increased the number of operations it conducts on a daily basis during the summer flying season and operating more than two planes for revenue generating purposes. Seaplane Adventures attorney John Sharp told the commission that federal law preempts the permit's conditions of approval, particularly where noise limits are concerned. The commission finally came to the conclusion that it does not have the jurisdiction in the matter. Rather than imposing new restrictions, the commission voted unanimously to recommend to the city commission that it eliminate three of the current restrictions on the business, including the noise limit, because they contradict federal law. After the break, Lily Drone is back under new ownership. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Adventure offers Rotax 912 power, a basic instrument panel, and radios. Fly it away for under $120,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aerodashnews.net. 
the Lily Flying Camera Drone was one of those meteoric rise and fall stories that ended with the company filing for bankruptcy in February. And many of the buyers who pre-ordered through a Kickstarter campaign are still waiting for refunds. But some of the assets of the company were purchased by an established California drone retailer called Mota Group. And the drone has been revamped, outfitted with a 4K camera, and is now available for order with shipping expected in two to four weeks. This is a new aircraft with many of the same features that attracted the original investors to the Lily drone in the first place. It has a follow me mode, can shoot 4K video in 60 frames per second, slow motion, and 72p videos at 120 frames per second. The flight time is about 18 minutes, and it folds to about the size of a GoPro Karma. But while it carries the name Lily, the new drone has differences. It is not waterproof. Not waterproof in the drone makes it significantly lighter and allows the battery to be interchangeable. The new Lily comes with two batteries and also has eight motors and rotors rather than four in the original. The pre-order price is $499, with that expected to climb to $699 fairly quickly. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. One of the key bits of testimony against ATC privatization came in the form of statements made by U.S. Air Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger. Here's one of them. Search Sully Calls on Congress to oppose ATC privatization on YouTube. After these messages, Orbital ATK donates for Hurricane Harvey. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. So much news coming out of the aviation industry. We're summarizing a few of those other great stories. A brief segment we call Around the Pads. Orbital ATK is donating $100,000 to the United Way of Greater Houston to aid in Hurricane Harvey relief efforts in the area. The United Way of Greater Houston supports emergency response organizations like the Red Cross, Salvation Army, and many others so they can act quickly in times of disaster. Southwest Airlines has taken delivery of the airline's first Boeing 737 MAX 8. Southwest is the first airline in the United States to receive the 737 MAX, and the carrier expects to take delivery of eight more MAX aircraft in the coming weeks with the intent to launch nine MAX aircraft into revenue service throughout its network on October 1st. A Georgia couple has sued the FAA, saying ATC directed them to an airport outside of the glide distance of their TBM 850 when it lost power in October 2014. TBM was being flown by S. Blaine McCaleb III. The plane lost power, and McCaleb declared an in-flight emergency. According to the complaint, the controller gave McCaleb vectors to an airport that was about 10 nautical miles away rather than an airport that was only 1.7 nautical miles from their location. What would it take to establish a self-sustaining colony on Mars? That is the question posed by a new multiplayer interactive simulation game that is raising money on Kickstarter. Initiative Red Dawn puts the player in control of a multi-billion dollar company that will design and launch its own spacecraft to the Red Planet. According to the game's developers, players will assemble a team by hiring talents needed for the company and develop a strategy for colonizing Mars. An undisclosed Asia-Pacific country has been awarded a contract valued of approximately 
$93 million to Elbit Systems for the upgrade of the country's F-5 aircraft fleet. Contract will be formed over a three-year period under the upgrade contract Elbit Systems will supply the F-5 with cutting-edge systems, including head-up displays, an advanced cockpit, radars, weapon delivery, and navigation system. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. NASA and the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum will celebrate 40 years of the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft, humanity's furthest and longest-lived mission, with a public event today. At 12.30 p.m. EDT Tuesday, September 5th, the observance will take place at the Smithsonian. Activities include panel discussions about the Voyager's creation and mission history, their unprecedented science findings and imagery impact on Earth's culture, and how the spacecraft inspired countless scientists, engineers, and the next generation of explorers. The event also will include a galactic message transmitted toward the Voyager 1 spacecraft by a celebrity guest. The Voyager's original mission was to explore Jupiter and Saturn, although the twin spacecraft are now far beyond the planets in the solar system. NASA continues to communicate with them daily as they explore the frontier where interstellar space begins. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at earl-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.